Hey folks, so I've uh, got a package through the mail today and it's something I ordered because my uh, the one on my bike uh, I dropped and actually broken so uh, anyway, let's get to the unboxing and see what it is So it's from Ultima Add-ons and it's a tough waterproof case for my uh, iPhone uh, I have the iPhone 6s Plus, so the larger 5.5 inch screen. Um, so I wanted a case for my motorcycle so that when I'm uh, touring or using it for daily I can uh, get access to my phone and use it for a sat nav or, or just uh, basically to use it as a music player or, or a telephone on the bike. So I'll, uh, I'll show you a little later. Um, it on the bike, but uh, first let's get down to the boxing and uh, see what's inside this uh, this package. So let's undo the box. Um, so it's a tough waterproof case from Ultima Add-ons, and this one's for the iPhone 6. So the iPhone 6, the 6s, the 7s Plus, and also the iPhone 8 Plus. So it's the one with the uh, the 5.5 inch uh, screen on the iPhone, which is this one just here. So let's have a look what's inside the box. So we get a lanyard if you wanted to use that when it's off the bike. Uh, let's take it out of the box. What does it say on the box? Uh, so waterproof rated to IPX5, touch screen can still be used. So uh, I'll show you that in a second. Um, shock absorbing silicon layer, polycarbonate outer shell, uh, record video while mounting. Um, not sure why you want one to do that if you're on a motorcycle. Um, use camera while still in case. Uh, easy access lock clips, uh, pressure clips for extra strong seal and uh, Ultima add-ons vehicle charging cable compatible. So you can actually put a charging lead um, be it an iPhone one via a USB uh, or a cigarette lighter socket on your motorcycle or you can get an actual uh, proper one for the vehicle that's waterproof and it goes onto your battery um, and that's available from Ultima add-ons if you check their website out um, if you look in the link below you'll see a, uh, a link to the website okay uh, so you can get these for uh, most phones this one is for the iPhone but you can get them for uh, various different uh, telephones and uh, also you can check them on their website um, I just want to point out this is not a paid promotion I'm doing this because I like the product and uh, I've been using one of these for years um, so let's have a look at it so in the initial packet uh, take that off. As you can see, you've got the uh, the phone case. It is a slightly larger one because it's for the iPhone uh, S Plus uh, package. So it's got the 5.5 inch screen, but I find it's better on the motorcycle for uh, for seeing the phone. And also, I use it in a uh, horizontal format on the bike. And um, of course, I can use it with uh, various apps and also sat nav apps. Uh, I currently use one called Copilot, or you can just use it with the Google Apps. So uh, it comes uh, in a case, you can see it's uh, pretty well made. Uh, it's got the uh, window at the back for your camera still to be used and, and uh, operative. Also the camera on the phones obviously work for the front. Uh, you've got a three-pronged uh, approach with a connector on the back there. And also you've got uh, two clips. So you've got one at the top here that unclips like so and one on the back which one clips and then you've got the three pressure clips so one there one there and one on the side and then once it's open uh, this is where your phone goes in so some instructions there and a uh, pad so it's a silicone uh, in a uh, case that's what makes the waterproof section and also you can put a charging lead in the bottom um, which we'll show you uh, when we're mounted on the bicycle. Uh, but I'll just show you putting in the, uh, the iPhone. I have my iPhone in a, uh, a separate case, so I'm just going to take that off. And then uh, basically I can uh, put it into the case. Uh, you can see where the charger will go in. And basically all you do 
is uh, click the three clips in place and then put the extra clips over. Uh, so there it is mounted in place. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you can press the buttons on here, you can go into Google Maps. So it's still uh, available to work through the actual uh, plastic screen. Uh, I do believe on this version that if you've got a fingerprint uh, unlock function you can still use it through this case. Um, but as you can see you can uh, use the phone pretty much as it is uh, with the touch screen through the, uh, the screen. So what else have we got? Um, so as you see on the back you've got a three pronged uh, clip you need obviously to mount that to something. Um, on the uh, motorcycle I have a um, a ball mount ram. Um, you can buy those also from uh, from Ultima add-ons and uh, various different fixings whether you've got a uh, ram mount type uh, uh, product or you want it connecting onto your handlebars. Uh, so if you check their website out in the link you'll see that. Um, but what I opted for is the ball mount uh, adapter. So this is a 25mm three prong adapter and uh, we'll just open this and have a look. So what it is on the back, you've got three prongs and that will then sit uh, against the back there and it will lock into position like that, firm clip and then you've got the, uh, the ball mount on the back to go onto your, uh, your yoke or, or whichever mount uh, you have on the bike. Um, so that's a really good one because I can turn it uh, vertically uh, or horizontally and, um, and move it about and put it in an angle. Um, so that's the mount I've opted for. Um, like I say, it does come with, uh, with instructions uh, here. Uh, how to put it in. You also get a, uh, a, a little screen protector for your phone as well. So that's a nice little touch to put that in the box. So let's go and mount this on the, uh, the bike and uh, see how it looks. So here we are on the bike. And uh, I'm just going to put this on to the uh, the RAM mount you can see here. So on the back, um, I've already connected the uh, the clip on there. So I'm just going to unscrew and take off uh, the outer housing, and then I'm going to press this onto uh, to the actual ball. There we go. And then on the back, I'm just going to screw that up. Um, now you can have this mounted uh, around whichever way you want. Uh, on my bike it uh, pretty much suits this way, um, just because it fits better between the, uh, the brake reservoir. But as you can see I can actually angle it depending on the sunlight and uh, my view. Um, so that pretty much works for me. Um, I can still see uh, my dashboard just over the top of it on the bike so uh, I can still see perfectly this area I can see my dash my speedometer okay. so there it is in situ um, you've got uh, function buttons on the side for the volume up and then obviously the off button you can use the uh, the main button on your iPhone or however your, your phone works but you can uh, access all of your apps um, it's fully waterproof and uh, it enables me to uh, to put the charger in the bottom there and uh, obviously keep it charged up on the go or use it um, just as a, uh, a sat nav uh, either through uh, Google Maps or I can use an app that I use which is called uh, Copilot uh, which is a good one as well. Uh, so that's about wraps this uh, review up and uh, install of the Ultima add-ons uh, hard case for telephones whether it be iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy or anything like that uh, like I say, not a paid promotion, but uh, check the link below and um, the web address is there and uh, have a look at it. Yeah.